Welcome back everybody. Today I'm taking a look at a new feature in StarMade. This one is called Rails. Um, this video will be coming out uh, hopefully as soon as possible. I've just been messing about in the dev build. Uh, anyone can pick this up in the usual way. Just hit up dev in the options for your build choice. This hasn't been fully finished. The rails don't have movement yet, but I can show you a few things. So then you press X, give yourself a core, press R to go into the core, and then press space to get in build mode. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is actually set up something to dock to. So to make this easy to understand, I'm just gonna put some gray hull blocks around my core, okay? And as you can see, the arrow is facing that way, which means my ship is facing that way okay now you can't rotate these currently so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a rail block here 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 and here and i'm going to use the shortcut tab 4 when looking at the rail to make them all face outwards there we go tab 3 goes the other way so you don't have to go all the way around okay tab 3 tab 4 they work the same tab 1 and tab 2 seem to rotate the textures and not the blocks anyway i'm learning stuff now so basically, once you've got your rails arranged like this, you're going to treat these like directional docking blocks, okay? There's no movement that I could figure out yet, but I did want to show you this di directional gra uh, docking. Because obviously you could have these up top as well, so you can have these on all sides, and that will allow you to have uh, directional docking on all 24 possible cardinal rotations so the next thing you're going to want to do is actually give yourself another ship which because obviously i'm gonna have to dock to this that is my rail dock all right now i'm going to go x give myself another ship core i'm going to go into build mode and go straight to the rail docker now i'm going to put the rail docker right here i'm going to use tab 4 to rotate it up and then put some power blocks above it okay so you can see that my my uh, ship that I want to dock and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in the ship press T drag the rail docker into position one push one now if I click on this one here see there's a beam okay now the beam that's my docking beam so I'm going to click on the uh, dock and then as you can see we are docked to that position the, the, uh, the red cross at the moment denotes the back of the docker and we've actually, that's the one I've clicked on here. So if I click it again, it'll de-dock me. Okay. And if I click on, say, the side here. There we go. And now, as you can see, we've docked onto the side. It looks kind of the same, though, because of the way it's just... Trust me, that's what it is. You click, that is your new docking beam. It docks, it docks in any direction. And the game will actually check for collision. That's pretty much all I can show you. I'm going to be coming back with more uh, as soon as we've got some movement in this system. But as far as I can tell so far, it just allows for 24 possible orientations in docking. So there you have it. Directional docking overhaul is on the way. And that's how you do it at the moment. Obviously, uh, keep an eye on the news. I'm sure there's going to be some announcements about this. Otherwise, you know, well, there's got to be. So when that happens, we'll come back to you with more. And obviously show you how to get that rail moving once it's able to be done. So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all next time.